1968, Sislin Faye Allen became Britain's first ever black policewoman. Despite enduring years of racist abuse from inside and outside of the force, she paved the way for other black women to join the Met Police. As part of our coverage of Black History Month, Ms. Allen has spoken to Sky News about her historical achievement, as well as the race inequalities which still exist in Britain today. Sky's Noel Phillips has this special report. London is the place for me. London, this lovely city. Throughout the 1950s and 60s, Jamaicans were encouraged by the British government to leave their homes and come to the UK. That open invitation led to one woman changing the course of history. This is me at um, Peel House, Westminster Metropolitan Police Training School at the time. I didn't set out to make history. I just wanted a change of direction. And this was on the 19th of April, 1968. It's a long, long journey, but I'll do it all over again. Completing her training in the Metropolitan Police, Britain's first coloured policewoman, Mrs. Cicelyn Faye Allen from Jamaica. The journey began 52 years ago. This was Cicelyn Faye Allen, age 29. As a new recruit, she's taking part in a mock exercise at the Metropolitan Police Training School in London. At the time, she became the first black policewoman in Britain. And it was whilst working as a nurse in South London when she decided to join the force. I was on my lunch break and going through the papers, I saw this advert advertising they were recruiting police officers. Yeah? So I looked at it and I thought, why not? After I finished work and I went home, you know, that's what I did. I filled this thing out, then I posted it off and thought nothing of it. So within a fortnight, I got a reply from the Metropolitan Police and they posted some forms for me to fill out and return. So I did this and um, at the end I, I penned at the bottom of it that I was a black woman because I didn't want, if I had succeeded and when they see me they would think um, I didn't know she was black or something like that, you know? So I specifically wrote there that I was black. But there were friends who were telling you that they wouldn't accept a black woman in the police. When I went back to work and my friend, I was saying to her, you know, I, I think I am going to join the police force. And she said, don't be so silly. They're not accepting black people. And then I said, well, I've got news for you, I've been accepted. And she couldn't believe it. Cicelyn managed to defy the odds to pursue her dream. But it is worth remembering what Britain looked like at the time. In the same year she made history, Conservative MP Enoch Powell delivered his controversial Rivers of Blood speech. In this country, in 15 or 20 years time, the black man will have the whip hand over the white man. Well, I can already hear the chorus of execration. He was strongly critical of Commonwealth immigrants in the UK. You were facing a lot of prejudice and discrimination from outside the force, but also inside you encountered a few problems. I mean, they didn't want a black police officer there or whatever. You know, and um, they thought, well, they have to make it known. Some of them were livid. I mean, I got um, quite a lot of, you know, letters because it came through Scotland Yard. And um, there were some very nice letters, but there were some horrible ones I was told. I've never seen them because they, they didn't give them to me. They thought if I saw these letters, you know, I would 
I wouldn't go on with the job. Not I would leave. As the only woman of colour at the time, it was a lonely experience. Cicelyn spent four years with the Met before leaving in 1972. She returned to Jamaica with her family, where she also became a police officer. I think um, you still have a long way to go, you know. But at the end of the day, I was glad that I was able to inspire so many people, you know, take up the challenge, you know, and they're all doing a, a good job. Her rise from Windrush immigrant to Britain's first ever black policewoman is a legacy which stretches far beyond these shores. There isn't a single woman who can't now dream the dream. In Britain, Cicelyn's contribution still resonates today. I'd like to say a massive thank you to Cicelyn because she has paved the way. She was the person who came in. She was that black female who came in and clearly made some uh, incredible sacrifices and contributions to policing. Um, and um, it's part of the reason why I'm here today. Commander Alison Hyderi is the highest ranking black woman in the country. She says she's an example that policing is ready for a change. My belief is that uh, we have come an awfully long way. Um, even if you look in the last 5, 10, 15, 20 years, uh, there's been so much going on around um, more um, black and minority ethnic um, staff and officers uh, joining the Met, um, joining policing in general. However, I do think that we have a, a way to go. Looking back at her life, Cicelyn tells me she carried a heavy weight of expectations, some of which she was able to fulfil. Her dream was to climb the ranks and become an inspector, but nonetheless, she has no regrets. Would you do it all again? If and when I could do it, I would do it all over again. You know, and I would recommend it any day to anybody. If you can help somebody along the way, that's a lot of satisfaction. This is a woman whose story has until now largely been overlooked in history. Cicelyn Faye Allen defied the odds to change the face of British policing. Noel Phillips, Sky News in St Anne's, Jamaica.